Hello everybody, I'm doing here with the Hammer Game John. Welcome back to Hard Surviving 4 and to Buy Blood Alone, where today we're checking out the new Switzerland tree and seeing if we can grab a couple of achievements. There's four. Well, it's gonna be three, but it's like a variation. So there's two achievements that we'll maybe we'll get one and we won't get the other basically. I'll 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 point that out once we get into it. Let's let's hop on in. So let's have a wee look at the achievements here. I am planning on getting the two that I'm hopefully going to get is going to be, and you get a canton, everyone gets a canton, it's a, it's Oprah, uh, as Switzerland have 24 states. I'd like to think we can achieve this. We also have Swiss cheese, annex 5 states that are not basically next to each other or Switzerland, so I'm going to have to create some border gore, but that should be relatively easily done considering how big the axis will get and how many nations will be involved. Uh, then we also have you shall not pass, and... I'm not locked in here with you. Either I'm going to declare war on Germany, and then the Allies will hopefully win, meaning I win, or we get attacked, and we win the war against Germany, thanks to the Allies helping us, and we don't lose any of our core territory. So, hopefully, we can get three achievements today, and basically smash Switzerland out of the park. As you may be wondering, how am I going to utilize this tree? Well, fascism is already out of the question. That is not happening. We will not be touching this. We are going to try and do preempt and schluss. Now, I keep ballsing it up because ally gold needs to be done when there's more than 70% support for the Federal Assembly. Then, there needs to be a drop in support for the Federal Assembly, getting to the point where it has to be below 60. Now I'm going to do this by trying to go communist, but not fully communist. So we do start off with a somewhat okay industry. We have 8 civvies, 4 military. Um, we do have 2 national spirits. We have Swiss neutrality and fascist, uh, well foreign fascist propaganda. We also have a unique conscription law, which is Swiss citizen militias, which will be going bye bye um, because we cannot produce any divisions other than the Swiss citizens militias and they're terrible so we will be removing them so what's good about this event is it gives us a little bit of a head start in dealing with the party popularity of the uh, federal assembly we do need to get down to below 60 but obviously in those gradual kind of declines and um, a good starting point though is by doing neutrality is untenable under these circumstances which removes 10 percent not only do we have to keep the party support for the Federal Assembly over 70% until we do this, we also need to move the balance of power to left of full cantonal power, which means we need to get it into this area here. We do eventually need to get all the way over here to the full council control, the Federal Council that is, so best way to do that is by taking strength and military high command until we're able to do uh, push for centralization, which gives us 40% in favour of the Federal Council. So we'll start things off with this one. So Switzerland also has another interesting little mechanic. We already start off with the three members of the cabinet in our government. Um, basically, we're electing one of these gentlemen to become the president of the Swiss Confederation for a period of time. Who we're going to choose here is we're going to choose Albert because he has the daily democracy support of plus 0.07. He needs to go because right now he's helping keep this up, right? So he is going to disappear. He will be removed. And we now have the option to pick someone um, for zero political power and we're going to choose a Robert Grimm because he has the daily communism support of plus 0 0.05 so he's going to start helping build this up whilst the other two democracy guys are going to help kind of keep this up a little bit but not that much this is the uh, the event chain for the assassin uh, David Frankfurter basically he needs to face trial so I basically chucked him in straight away and Germany gave me some fascism support so what we're going to do is we're going to have a fair trial. We're going to do this because Hitler's not going to pat us in the back for chucking him in the jail straight away. So this way we refrain from grabbing that extra uh, popularity for the fascists, preventing us from doing allied gold. Just on the next event, we will chuck him in jail. That way, preventing us from peeing off Germany. But we'll pee off France instead. So another mechanic I need to point out is we have unlocked this uh, decision tab. And basically... We need to keep Germany, France and Italy on side, or to a point where they don't go below an opinion of minus 85% of us because if that does happen they consider us in breach of our neutrality and they will declare war on us. So right now Italy hates us the most, France loves us and Germany 
doesn't really care about us. So we went ahead and got further than I got last time. We've done Ally Gold, which has opened up an option for us to open banks to Democratic Nation. We're not going to do that just yet because I need the PP elsewhere. Uh, however, we've got to the point where the uh, trial is approaching for David. We can continue as uh, planned or we can say he's clearly guilty. We're going to choose this one now and keep Germany on side. It does ruin relations with uh, France a little bit, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter. Maybe Germany will give us a little bit of thanks. He loves us. Yes, thank you. How many days can I wait until this? It is done. It's okay. We don't need to be low 20%. Oh, Dune, you are a chib. You're a chib. Okay, it's not the end of the world. It is just slowing us down a little bit. Okay, we've got a wee change of plans. We're not doing the Gotthard Bund just yet because that changes the passive spirit of Helvetia to aggressive. Arm neutrality changes it from passive to defensive. So if we go to this first, then we'll become defensive and I want to have the aggressive one. So we're going to do the defensive one first, straight up followed by this. And we can also elect Robert Grimm. Oh, we're about to try and press for the... Uh, piece of territory from Austria, however, I've just noticed that it annoys Germany. I think Germany, oh no, everybody hates us though, nice, love that. Perfect, the Austrian government has accepted, perfect, and that opens up the ability for us to put Liechtenstein on the map once we get to strong council control. Um, yeah, we just need to get less than 15% fascism, there we go, it's below 15%. Preempt Anschluss. We can also protect Liechtenstein now. So it's Liechtenstein there. No, it's not there. So it's going to get added. Ah, yes, Austria has willingly joined us. So Switzerland is looking hella thick. And what's even better is we get their divisions. We're just not able to do anything with them right now. Um, okay, we just demanded land off of France and they've accepted. <laughs> oh. That's brilliant. Uh, we're going to do the same with Italy now. Basically all I done was I improved relations with France up to 100%. So we're going to do the exact same with Italy. And that way should be perfect. I don't believe it. Italy's accepted too. Oh my days, we look fantastic. Can we, can we proclaim it? You son of a gun. Less than 50%. I've just noticed we can go ahead and declare the Alpine Confederation. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And does that give us cores? It does indeed. It does indeed. Oh my, we have 2.3 million. So just to focus Alpine uh, Rebuilt and let me just show you what's done. It's added this, which is just insane. But it hasn't just added it to one of them. It's added it to every single one. So I can just build a massive blinking fortification line very quickly because it's plus 50% construction speed for fortifications. Oh my days, can, can I just point out how stupid that is? We get claims, oh I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have made ourselves the Alpine, Alpine Confederation. I didn't read. That's stupid though, What? why am I blocked from doing that? I'm curious to see what happens if I oust the Confederation President. Okay, he has been ousted. Does someone else elect a new one for 250? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, well. Nice. Uh, we'll just save up and we'll elect someone new. Cool. Oh, look. The Cantons are now in charge again. Okay. <laughs> We're all over the place with this, man. Oh, ideal. We're moving to early mobilization. Fantastic. Love that. Big fan. Wait, what? Germany? Germany wasn't at war with France. Wait, what? Pol Pol How did Poland not join the Allies? Ah, yes, the Germans are now going through the Netherlands, through Belgium, and will probably end up killing France very, very soon. We're not completely surrounded. Vichy France isn't in the Axis just yet until America probably declares war on them eventually at some point, or someone from the Allies will. Um, Yugoslavia still exists. Um... Obviously, Germany doesn't have a border with them. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh no, the UK sees me in breach of the neutrality. Whoa, 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 whoa. Excuse me, I don't even have... I don't even have the decision thing until this... Oh, it's got... 
I'm pro relations with them, but I can't 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 really stop them. Our time is nearing. Our time is nearing. Oh, Japan has struck the the uh, Philippines, which means the USA will probably be joining the Allies very soon. Oh, and now the Soviet. What? What's the Soviet Union got anything to do with it? Ah, oh, I don't think they're going to invade me. Okay, yeah, I've I've completely broken the absolute neutrality thing. Just a wee update on the whole uh, situation in the world. America, for some reason, is just justifying on Vichy France. I am still just just chilling. I am going to be completely surrounded when Vichy France joins, so don't really want to to preemptively kind of join this war. I am very tempted just to join in now. Stalin's not doing terribly, uh, you know, historical-wise. Um, I could maybe, like, knock out Italy. Or attempt to try and knock out Italy. Uh, okay, um, we, we joined the Allies. Because Britain just allowed us to join it. Yeah, I, I maybe shouldn't have joined the Allies just yet, and I could have taken the opportunity to catch them off guard. At the same time... I said, no, I don't feel safe. I, I don't feel safe looking at that. For my days, oh my days, the time is now. The time is now to strike Italy anyways. This is it. This is the moment we've been waiting for. The moment we finally strike fear into the Germans. Yep, here it is. I don't care if it puts me at war with Japan. I couldn't care in the flippin' slightest. Oh, oh wow, okay. Italy's fallen into a civil war. Um, I have Italy as a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Okay, don't know how I've managed to to get that, but hey-ho. It's actually so cursed that we're considered a major. The African you are, are, are you back? Oh, you are. Well, hello there. Oh, my days. If we can break through here. Oh, my God. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, Germany. Oh, no. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, our trade agreement with Germany. Um, I'm surprised we got that event, considering why would we still have a trade agreement with them? America. America, back me up here, boy. So we're able to take some heavy casualties. It's uh, It's been a costly war. A really costly war. However, not as costly as it's been for the Germans, who have lost 7 million men. You know, there's nothing more satisfying than seeing, you know, Europe being liberated. It is a shame I wasn't able to go down the actual Alpine uh, route on our focus tree. Because I would have got claims on so much of Germany. I'm not going to lie, this, this has been pretty goddamn flipping cursed-like. We're up to 6%. They're going. They're going. And they're gone. Okay, time to, to seriously. Time to make a mess here. Uh, what's cheap? What's cheap? What's cheap? Oh, well, there we go. Oh my days. Oh, all four, all four done. Just to ignore the border gore that we have created. I gotta tell you, it was perfect. Perfect, everything down to the last. Minute details. Um, wow. Job done. Job done. I think that's literally all the Swiss ones. In one video. Oh my days it is. Holy. Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. What can I say? What can I say? I'm just too good. What What was the defense of war? I, okay, do you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, we, we're done. We're done for the day. Um, hope you enjoyed, guys. I I enjoyed this. Uh, I I somewhat enjoyed this. I'm 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 a bit disappointed the the tree broke on us, or rather, I couldn't go past this because I'd done it manually via the decisions becoming the um, Alpine Protectorate. That's that means we would have been communist, which would have mean, well, meant rather, uh, we would have had a completely different game. And imagine us getting all the territory from Germany that we had claims on. That'd be class. Um, but we we checked the tree out. We we barely done any of it, to be honest. Um, barely done any of it. But it was it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. And getting Italy as a puppet. How the hell did I get that? 
Um, I'm not going to complain. Wait, who got Yugos uh, Yugoslavia's free independent nation? Where's all the bits of territory I got? <laughs> Eifold, uh, the north of Tunisia, Danzig, a part of Syria, some of Africa. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. But anyways, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. And I shall be back very soon for another video. And we will be playing as Ethiopia. So until then, do take care. Cheer bye. Bye now.